Welcome to our channel that is dedicated to personal and professional development. Your success is our success. Have you ever felt like a fraud, even though you know you have the skills and qualifications to succeed? Are you your own worst critic? Do you struggle to accept praise or compliments for your accomplishments? Do you feel like everyone else has it all figured out, and you're just pretending? If you do then you may be experiencing imposter syndrome. Did you know? Studies show that 70% of people have experienced imposter syndrome at some point in their lives. This means that you are not alone in feeling this way. Not to worry, this is very common and in this video we will provide tips and strategies to help overcome imposter syndrome and develop self-confidence, allowing you to pursue your goals and dreams with a positive mindset. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools you need to conquer imposter syndrome and thrive in your personal and professional life. Let's begin with what is imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a psychological phenomenon where individuals experience chronic self-doubt and a persistent feeling of inadequacy even when they have accomplished a great deal of success in their field. People with imposter syndrome often have difficulty accepting their achievements as valid, and instead, attribute their success to luck or other external factors, even if they have put in the hard work to achieve their success. Imposter syndrome often affects high achievers, perfectionists, and those who are overly self-critical. It can make them believe that they are not good enough, despite their achievements and qualifications. Did you know? The causes of imposter syndrome are complex and can vary from person to person. However, there are several common factors contribute to the development of imposter syndrome, that includes Perfectionism. Individuals who struggle with perfectionism may find it challenging to accept anything less than perfection from themselves, even when it's unrealistic. This can lead to feelings of self-doubt and the belief that they are not good enough. Overcompensation. Some individuals develop imposter syndrome as a result of trying to overcompensate for their perceived shortcomings. They may work harder than necessary to prove themselves, causing them to feel like a fraud when they do achieve success. Family dynamics. Family dynamics can also contribute to the development of imposter syndrome. People who grew up with parents who had high expectations or who were overly critical may struggle with feelings of inadequacy and never feeling like they measure up. What could be the impacts of imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome can have significant impacts on an individual's personal and professional development. Individuals with imposter syndrome may struggle to accept praise or compliments for their achievements, believe that they are not qualified for their job or position, despite evidence to the contrary, experience anxiety and self-doubt, leading to depression or other mental health issues fail to pursue opportunities that are aligned with the goals due to fear of failure. Now the interesting part how do you overcome imposter syndrome? Overcoming imposter syndrome can be a daunting task. However, it is essential to realize that it is a process that takes time, effort, and dedication. Here are some practical tips to help you overcome imposter syndrome. Recognize and acknowledge your achievements. Many people with imposter syndrome struggle with accepting praise or compliments for their achievements. It is essential to recognize your strengths and acknowledge your accomplishments, no matter how small they may seem. Celebrate your successes and take pride in your accomplishments. Research has shown that celebrating small victories can help individuals develop resilience, which is an essential quality when overcoming imposter syndrome. Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Negative self-talk is a common feature of imposter syndrome. People with imposter syndrome often hold deep-seated beliefs that they are not good enough or not deserving of success. To overcome imposter syndrome, it is crucial to recognize negative self-talk and replace it with positive affirmations. For example, instead of thinking, I'm not good enough, try thinking, I can do this, and I have the skills and knowledge to succeed. By replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations, you can develop a more positive and confident mindset. Research studies have shown that positive affirmations can improve self-esteem, reduce stress and anxiety, and increase resilience. Identify and challenge your self-imposed limitations. Many people with imposter syndrome believe that they are not good enough or do not have the necessary skills to succeed. However, these self-imposed limitations are often unfounded and baffled on false beliefs. To overcome imposter syndrome, it is essential to identify self-imposed limitations and challenge them. For example, if you believe that you don't have the necessary skills to complete a project, ask yourself if this is really true. Identify any evidence that contradicts this belief and use it to challenge your negative thoughts. Share your feelings with others. 
Talking about your feelings of imposter syndrome with a trusted friend or colleague can be beneficial. It can help you gain a different perspective on the situation and receive support and encouragement from others. Research studies have shown that social support can improve mental health and reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. In conclusion, overcoming imposter syndrome is possible with self-awareness, self-confidence, and healthy coping mechanisms. By recognizing and acknowledging your achievements, replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations, identifying and challenging self-imposed limitations, and sharing your feelings with others, you can build resilience, self-esteem, and self-confidence, and take control of your life and career. Remember that you are not alone, and seeking help is a sign of strength. Hope you found the video insightful and let us know your feedback and any topics that are interested in for personal and professional growth. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and support our channel.